So now that we have some products in our store, we're going to go ahead and create an upsell. So upsells are extremely beneficial and they're actually going to allow us to increase the average ticket value per customer, right? So all we have to do to create our first upsell is super easy, right? We just have to create a title for this, right? So we'll do the upsell as the dog brush. Products offered is going to be dog brush. So this is the product that's going to be offered during the, um, the checkout, right? And that's what it's going to look like. Over here, we can go to offer look and feel, right? So you can customize this text. If you wanted to give a special discount, if the customer would actually purchase both of these products together, you can do that as well. You would just add a discount code right here. So that's really cool, right? Over here, you can do different colors, right? So you can do the Halloween theme and Halloween colors, right? You can come over here. <clears throat> you can do original, and this will be the original color, right? So you can get really kind of you know specialized with it, and you can really make it look and feel how you personally want, right? We can come back over from to the normal, and we're just going to leave this as is for now, right? Over here, we can have triggers, so we, this can show only on um, certain products and certain rules, right? So again, you can customize certain upsells to be shown when customers are about to check out and have certain products in their cart, right? Um, you can basically um, continue to show the offer after it has been accepted, right? So we don't want this, right? So don't continue to show the offer. We absolutely don't want it to show because the customer already added it to their cart and they already accepted the offer. So we can check that. Over here, we just have some advanced settings, right? We can leave this blank. Over here, we have the discount code. So if we were doing, you know, a 10% off discount code, all you would have to do is just make sure you have a discount code available and you can basically just title, um, apply this discount code, which would be the, the name of your discount code, right? But we're not gonna do that for now. Then you come over here and just publish the upsell and go ahead and hit save offer. And now, what we can go ahead and do is just go and check it out and see what it looks like. So what we can do now is actually check it out and see what this upsell looks like, right? And I actually think we forgot to put a trigger on this, right? And you need a trigger so, you know, the upsell um, app knows when to show this upsell, right? So we can do when it contains at least, um, contains at least a product, and we'll do the interactive dog chew toy. And then all you have to do is hit add rule, right? So now we can go ahead and hit save. And it's going to save our, our uh, upsell, right? And now once it's fully saved, we'll go check it out on our store, right? So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and open up our store. And we have our store here. And this is the product. So once we add this product to our cart, the upsell should show when we when the customer or when we are at the cart section of our store, right? So again, look at our store. Our store looks amazing, right? Thanks to Shopify and some little bit of work, our store looks extremely professional and it just looks amazing, right? But we'll hit this add to cart button. Our product will be added to our cart. Then to actually see our upsell, let's go ahead and check the cart out. And let's check out our upsell and let's see there it is perfect right so when a customer comes to the cart and they're about going to you know think about purchasing this product or about to purchase this product <clears throat> they're going to get hit with would you like to add a dog brush right and obviously these products are you know very related right they both are for their pets and for their dogs so some people are going to be very interested in this product they're going to go ahead and hit add to cart and the product will be automatically added to their cart and then they can easily check out